here with Liz Winstead, who is the creator of The Daily Show. Lynn, how did you come up with the idea for The Daily Show? Uh, Daily Show came sort of, Comedy Central wanted to do a daily show, and I said, yeah, that sounds great, but we have to cover two things. It's not just about the news, it's about the way the news is presented, so it should be twofold. We should satirize the medium as well as the newsmakers. And then The Daily Show was born. And how did John Stewart come on board? John Stewart came on board. He was initially, he was not our original host of The Daily Show. Craig Kilburn was the initial host. Um, but John was the first pick. But he, at that time in his life, decided he was going to pursue acting and had just come off another talk show that we'd worked on together. And he was like, I think I'm going to lay off the talk show thing for a while. Uh, and then after year three, John came on board and um, the show took off too. So people talk about people, uh, young people getting their news from The Daily Show. What do you think about that? I think what's really great is that if you were to fact check The Daily Show, the fact that young people get their news from it, they're getting correct information. Um, I'm not sure I would be psyched if I heard that young people got their news from Entertainment Tonight exclusively, but the fact that they get their news from The Daily Show makes me feel like they're engaged and they're getting good information, so it's a win-win. Do you think that The Daily Show is actually changing politics? I think it's changing the way that people get engaged. I think when people see a string of clips that show hypocrisy or people see something that is amazingly absurd or they see John interviewing somebody with a book, I think it's going to make them go investigate a little bit more, go find websites, go find other news articles so that they expand their information base, which I think is a really key thing. People are talking about politics being sexy again. Do you believe that that's true? And if so, what has contributed to that this year? I think I've contributed to politics being sexy. No, <laughs> I do not. Um, I think politics being sexy again is the fact that, you know how Habitat Humanity brought people together and all of a sudden kids were going to Habitat for Humanity instead of spring break? I think that grassroots and net roots are bringing people together. It's become a social thing because politics and personal have never been closer. And I think that that's why it's sexy, because it's just, it's this organic thing that comes from you like anything else.